Hello everyone, this is Stefan coming to you once again from inside the doghouse. I did a crack and resub submission a little while ago. The results are in. They're in these stacks of comics. And um, I think I did pretty well overall. Uh, th there were a couple of books before I get going on my crack and resubs. Um, there were a couple of books that I submitted that I did for friends. And, uh, and there were a couple of interesting results. The first one is this. Uh, it's an Ewoks 10 and a 9.8. Uh, I, I estimated it would get a 9 or a 9.2. It pressed out pretty well, but I didn't see a 9.8. So so the, uh, the person I pressed that for was very, very happy about that. And the other one, it was a crack and resub. Um, a, a, a friend of mine uh, gave me a bunch of comics to look at that were slabbed. There's a G.I. Joe um, first, like the original series. That was originally a 9.6. And I looked at it and I couldn't see any flaws. And when I popped it out, there were just a couple of um, like minor things that I was able to press out like really, really, really easily. And it ended up hitting a 9.8. So off to a good start. The, the people I, and there were other books that I submitted for other people as well, but those were definitely highlights. So for the books that I did for myself, Sorry, just have to get organized. Uh, first one was an X-Men 130. This is the first appearance of Dazzler. Um, out of the bag, first appearance of Dazzler. Now this book, originally I bought it as a 9.2. I did a crack and resub. It came back as a 9.0. And but this doesn't happen very often where I, you know, end up getting like a lower grade after crack and resub. And I thought that grading was totally out to lunch. So I took it out and there was really nothing to do with it. Um, so I just gave it a, what well, let's refer to as a quick press. I didn't work on it or anything like that, just because it was handled at CGC. And it came back 9.4, which is where it should have been the first time. So this is an increase, but it kind of corrects like what I feel is a mistake on the part of CGC that happened last time around. Now, next up, and these I got a comic link auction. There are two secret copies of Secret Wars that were 9.6. And my thought is when I do crack and resubs, the premium is for 9.8. So get you can get grade bumps and stuff like that and not really increase the value when you factor in the cost of of the of grading the books and you know maybe price changes that happen in the meantime. So one of them came back to 9.6, but I did get the 9.8 on the second one. So I was happy about that. Um, it, it's not the most valuable um, 9.8 premium out there, but at least I got one. So, so I was very happy. Now the next book as an Edge of Spider-Verse 2, 9.4 originally. And this one really ticked me off. Um, there was a flaw that... Uh, I figured, well, maybe they'll catch it, maybe it won't. It's a 9.6 all day, and it gave me a 9.4 again. And um, I, this is going, I think it's going to end up back in a crack and resub pile. I think this grade is goofy. <laughs> it's not correct at all, but it is what it is. Uh, next up was a Amazing Spider-Man 606, which was originally a 9.6. And this one stayed the same. Um, it was a 9.6 as well. It's one of the few ones. I got great bumps on almost everything. There were just a, a small number that ended up staying the same and none that dropped this time. But uh, this one, it, I got it because, you know, the price was right for one. But these white covers are really easy to work on. Um, they hide flaws extremely well. And I, again, that's, if it was a higher value book, I would do another crack and resub at this point. It's like, well, you know, whatever, I'll just take it as it is because at a certain point, the cost of grading is going to exceed even the cost of a 9.8 copy with something like that. Now, this is coming up next is a book that annoyed me the absolute most. 
the Saga One 9.2 originally. So I did a crack and resub, cleaned up absolutely beautiful, beautifully. I thought it had a shot at a 9.8. I got 9.6. Now that is a great bump. There's no question about it. The greater notes, and this greater actually included quite a bit of notes, said that there's a bindery tear at the bottom here. And you could see like a little tear all the way through the case. But my understanding of bindery tears is that that's part of the manufacturing process. And you could still get a 9.8 with a small, like it's, a, it's really, really tiny. Uh, you should be able to get, if my understanding is correct, a 9.8 with the bindery tear. So if I have to resubmit that one again to get the, you know, the 9.8 or something, it's, I don't know, I guess there's something wrong because I think that one was misgraded slightly. And next up was a Sandman one. It was a 9.0. There were flaw, there was a flaw that I could not fix on it. So I was hoping for a 9.6 that ended up hitting 9.6 as expected. So that one was, you know, totally good. Um, next up, we have two copies of Amazing Spider-Man 238. There is an 8.0, which I'll do first, and then a 9.0. <clears throat> the 8.0 copy, they're both new stand edition, the 8.0, I got all the way up to a 9.4, which was the biggest grade bump of this group. Uh, that's that's pretty significant. Uh, one, two, three, four, four places. Uh, so a four-step bump is awesome. And the other one came back also a 9.4, so 9 to 9.4, which is two steps. And um, with the new stand edition, getting up to 9.4 like, is, is a really, really good thing. Uh, 9.6 is quite a bit better, but I looked at it. I looked at them both again, and the 9.4s are accurate. There's no point to crack and resub. Perfectly accurate. I'm in complete agreement, and I understand the grade. Um, Next up, we have New Mutants 98, and this was originally a 9.0. It's one of the ones that uh, did not have newsstand on the label, but it was a newsstand edition. And this one hit 9.6, so that's a sizable bump. I'm happy with that. In the past, in the past, when I've done these. Kraken resubs. I talked about how it's all about the 9.8s, and that's true. The 9.8 premium does represent the biggest bump. But when you're getting books like these from, you know, 8 or 9 up to 9.4, 9.6, it's, it, it's good enough. Like those, those bumps are definitely significant, and, and I'm not definitely not taking a loss on them. Uh, I had two copies of Hulk 271, First Rocket Raccoon. One was an, the first one that I'm going to show was a 9.2. The second one was a 9.4, although, yeah, it uh, doesn't really matter because I got the same grade. So I got 9.6 and 9.6. And um, as good as these grades are, I, I'm a little bit disappointed. I looked at them again and I cannot see flaws. The the books when they went out, I thought, okay, like these are two what I think are clean copies. If I get nine nine eight on at least one of them, I'll be pretty happy. Two nine sixes is kind of a worst case scenario. Yes, they're both grade bumps, but really like I it, it should have been higher. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, last uh, for the crack and resubs are Spider-Man 252, the black suit thing. They're both new stand editions. They both started out as 9.2. First one got a one step bump to 9.4. And I looked at it again. And this is exactly where I thought it would fall. So all good. Uh, second one was 9.6. So two step bump. And this one, I checked it again. Yep, there's a flaw and there. There's no way I was able to fix it. It's just a tiny flaw around the uh, the staple. And there's there's nothing to be done with that. So all good. That that worked out very well for me. A couple, like two other books, just before I close out the video. Uh, I'm showing these because I mentioned them in other videos. This one, I bought a collection that had a New Mutants 98 in it. 
And um, the, the collection was in rough shape in general, but this one ha was one of the few books that had a bag, bag and board. And I worked on this a lot. It went through the press three times. I used the ball bearing, I used like everything to, to get like as many of the creases and stuff like out of this book as, as humanly possible. I could not have done more with it. And it ended up with a 9.4, which I think is awesome. I think that's, that's a fantastic result. And the last one was one that I bought at a local comic store. This one started out as a, um, it was a, graded by the store at about a seven and there's tons of, of stuff on the back. And again, I had to work on it with the ball bearing and there's only so much you can do with this black cover. Um, and the graders notes note that like the, the front is flawless. Uh, the graders note, make note of how there's, you know, couple of assorted issues on the back um, that justify the grade of 9.2 and I completely agree like I was hoping for a 9092 and and it it made it right into there so overall I ended up with I think three or four books that stayed the same everything else um, went up and some of the jumps were significant like 8.0 all the way up to a 9.4 for one of them and in these with these books, I I did a quick value check because um, you know you have to factor in the cost of grading and shipping back and forth and stuff like that and everything that you paid uh, to get the book to begin with and and a lot of these were crack and resubs where I paid you know basically value for for the original slab and I actually did okay even though there was only one nine eight out of my books um, my friends did a bit better than I did. Um, but even with only one eight, because there were multi-level jumps, um, they they ended up uh, almost every book that I sent in, or with a, with a few exceptions, ended up going up in value. And exceptions were typically just books that stayed the same, and I can't do much about that. And I, I do think I do see there's probably two or three that are gonna go into future crack and resubs if I go that route, though. Uh, because as the grader, I think, was very fair, accurate uh, most of the way through. But there are a couple where it's like, yeah, no, uh, that's 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 not right. And and that's fine. I can ask for a second opinion by doing another crack and resub with them. So this these are the results uh, that I got. My apologies for not doing uh, a video recently before this, but there was a big lull and I took advantage and had a little bit of a summer break for a few weeks without having a video, which was much needed and, and very restful and relaxed. I hope you all had uh, a very relaxing and restful summer as well. And we're about to kick off into into a busy season. Fall is typically pretty hot for comics, so I'm hoping to do more videos and I'm hoping to see you all here for them. Until then, take care and happy collecting.